Good afternoon, YouTubers. This is my video on my 1989 Ford Ranger XLT. It has the 2.9 liter gasoline engine, four wheel drive with a small TTB front axle on it. It has a 8,000 pound winch, a couple of off-road lights on the front. It has 32 inch BFGs, all-terrain tires. It has a four inch rough country suspension. Um, it has a rear axle upgrade to 8.8 uh, .8 Ford rear axle with a limited slip differential um, and disc brakes. So now it has all wheel disc brakes uh, with the upgraded rear axle. Love it much, much better. Um, what else can I say? Recently just upgraded the uh, front sway bar bushings. I added in a sway bar lowering bracket, 2.5 inch lowering bracket with all new bushings and now it rides really good. Much better than how it used to be. This is a truck that I bought originally as a parts truck and has since turned into uh, a great little project. I've had it about six years now and I love it. Uh, I've turned it into an overlanding rig which uh, is mainly what it's used for. I do use it regularly on our little ranch and driving back and forth into town for work. Uh, so it is a daily driver as well. Um, pretty much every day. So I'm going to do a walk around and I'll give you, a, give you the down low on the whole, whole deal. So continuing on with the Ford Ranger. Uh, I apologize if the sun is a little bright here in California today. It's kind of warm. So this is my 89 Ford Ranger. And this is the overlanding setup that I built for it. And I'm going to try and change angles here because it's going to get really bright. So this is the truck. This is the rack on the built that I built. I by no means am a welder or anything like that by profession, but it may not look pretty, but it'll hold. Got my high lift jack mounted in there. I got a shovel mounted in there with those quick fist clamps. Spare tire with a cover on it. Got some LED lights mounted in the back corners. sunlight got my uh, just got this uh, king kangaroo or trasheroo the trasheroo trash bag I like the look of it looks pretty uh, solid for a trash container for sure a little LED light up there <clears throat> nice and bright so it lights up all the work area or camping area or whatever this, uh, I don't know if you can see it real well there up in the front. We've got a little RV light, 12 volt system. Uh, just to the right of it, there's uh, two USB ports and a cigarette lighter charger. Uh, in the right front corner up there, can't see it real well. There is a battery, deep cell battery and a an old automotive uh, fuse panel cluster and I'll show it to you in a little bit but there's a solar panel up on top that keeps it all charged and that's what I use to run my little camper pack back here without having to draw anything off of my truck like I said this is a daily usage lumber bicycles for the kids you name it fence posts the aluminum top Solar panel up there. 
and then my fuel and water holder which is just aluminum bent um, just aluminum bent it's fitted in there nice and tight and perfect measured out to the cans this is a 20 liter or 5 gallon metal jerry can and then a poly water can and they both fit in there nice and neat and pretty there's my uh, light switch for my LED lights in the back and that is my basic overlanding setup I will probably try and make another video I have a a box wooden box with drawers and storage and stuff that I built to slide in there for when I'm out and about uh, doing camping cruising whatever and I guess we'll do a silly wind I guess we'll do an interior shot too like I said I bought this as a parts truck and then I liked it and kind of went to town on it stripped the, all the inside cleaned out vacuumed out scrubbed out everything that was old and new headliner little CB radio built my own little uh, center console for my light switches up front and I love a little extra cab keep all my gear back there winch straps all that good stuff and this truck gets used um, hopefully in this video I'll be able to upload some of the videos of where we've been in it um, prior to all these modifications a lot of these mods are done over time and um, like I said it's an ongoing project love this truck runs great the only uh, thing that I think I, I am considering is the Dana 44 solid axle swap in the front but that's a whole nother deal and a whole lot of consideration. The truck runs really good. It performs really good four by fouring. Um, I love it. That's why I kept it and am continuing to work on it on a daily basis. All right, so that's pretty much the walk around of it.